Hello, Haley Backwards here with a lovely, wonderful thing. Uh, unimprovised, unscripted, total and utter rubbish screencast. Today's topic is a little bit meta, if I'm going to use this correctly, because we're using ScreenFlow to do a ScreenFlow screencast. I don't know. Today's topic is how to resize the canvas in ScreenFlow. Now, if you're like me, you know, you'll need this tutorial because you don't read manuals and you tend to get confused easily. Yeah, maybe you're not like me. Anyway, I've got two demo files because this is something I ran into in the course of resizing the canvas on a different thing I worked on. So this is kind of like a gotcha. So first I'm going to show you. Here's how, if everything works as expected, you can resize the canvas to fit your foreground window and just crop everything out. So, you see if you hover over that, resize the canvas area, so click on that, and you can start dragging these guides. And then, when they align with an edge, how about that? They give you this little yellow thing to indicate that, yeah, fantastic. And then when you're done, apply, and there you go. Then it will kind of blur out your background for you so that you know that this is your actual canvas. I'm not sure why, but I'm going to go ahead and undo this. Now here's the one with the gotcha. So you've just recorded a similar screencast. You're like, okay, I'm going to resize it to the terminal window. Hey, what is going on? It's not wanting to snap. So, luckily this didn't take me all night. I think I did trash that recording just for that, because of that one gotcha. Anyway, what you can pay attention to, how this is probably most likely to come up, is if you don't click on the window during the countdown, and your uh, timeline playhead is probably the name for it, is at the very beginning. And if you notice, here's your clue, screen flow is in the, what is it called, the menu bar. So ScreenFlow is actually the active application. Well, if we go back to this one where it works fine, you see that with the playhead at zero, item is the active application. So here's how you get around that if you find yourself with that. Just scrub or use a word like that until you see that your desired window is now like the active application. And then if we go to resize canvas, if voila, we suddenly have the yellow guides and everything is just hunky dory. So, yeah, what I have not figured out though is if you can dynamically resize the canvas throughout the screencast. Because, you know, I don't read manuals, you know, I only look up stuff when I definitely need it. So I haven't needed that yet. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If not, hopefully I didn't waste too much of your time. And you have a fantastic morning, I guess, given the time of day. Yeah. Bye.